Good morning, good morning, good morning. God bless, God bless, God bless. <laughs> I've been critiqued this week and somebody said, when I come around this side, I, saw all, I always open with bless. And when I come around this side, I always come up with good morning, good morning. But, hey, you know, we're here today at Major Faith Worship Center just to give you an encouraging word from God. It's not about me, but I know I always introduce a bunch of different pastors that's been friends of mine. Uh, some, they, a few of us critique me on, you know, hey, you know, that's fine, but we'd rather hear the word. And that's how I am. I'd rather hear the word today. And, you know, it's a little warmer here, and I got a fan, so you might hear some outside noises for the windows being open and the fan being on. But, you know, if you've got a true heart of God, the distractions won't distract you, but they'll, they'll allow you to lean in and hear what the Spirit has to say, to, to, that has a, to say today to your heart. Because if you, if you don't know God, we'll make sure that you, you can uh, find, uh, find that salvation's gate today and that, uh, find your place here at this altar or at the altar where you're at. If you just say the, and say it, Say, say and confess with your mouth that He is Lord and he's, he's, he's a just God to receive you unto Him today. And like I said, I'm going to get into this word real quick and because and so, last time I, I did play around a little bit and the camera cut off. So, you know, if you just have to bear with me if the camera cuts off, I might have, it might be a short message. <laughs> you know, and that's all you need is a short message. You know, we, we're not here to, to beat you with the word. You know, the word does the work. It says his word goes out and it does not come back void. If you have a willingness and a, and, a, and, a, and a heart longing for something more than what's in this world, you'll want this today. You'll want to know him. You'll want to have more of him. You'll want to hear what everything I'm saying today, for I'm trying to speak the articles of God out of, and, and, and through this vessel to, to your ears and to your heart. It's about transforming your heart today and making a heart pliable that God can use and God can put His Spirit in it, and He can dwell with you and walk on this earth again with you. And He works with, walks with me. He's here today. I've invited Him here today. His Spirit is here today with us. That's what it's about, that measure of faith, to believe that He is, and His promises are those, for those that believe. And it's all about believing today, and you need to believe with me. And we're gonna, and like I said, I, I go through all the little other stuff at the end. But right now, I'm going to start off with the Word because... People saying I'm getting a little bit all, through all this other stuff and not getting enough of the word, that, you know. But so I'm going to give you some of the word here today. And it's a strong word, but it's going to be a word that's going to be for you. Allow it to be for you. Say this is for me today. Say that out of your heart and out of your spirit and out of your mouth today. Confess and say this is a word for me. And I want it and I, I need it. And it's all, and it's about not about the things that's around. Uh, uh, this world, but about the things that I need for my spirit to dwell peacefully with God and stuff. And uh, like I said, we're gonna go over to the the Book of John, the last of the four Gospels, and we're gonna go uh, to the book of the four, the uh, fourth chapter of the Book of John, the fourth chapter, and we're gonna start reading at the beginning, and I'm gonna. Um, uh, uh, preach on some of that, some of that, and then and I'll give you a, another scripture as well for the, for the uh, close out. And it says, uh, verse one of chapter four of first of, of John, the fourth chapter, where therefore the Lord knew that how the Pharisees had heard that Jesus made and baptized more disciples than John, through through Jesus himself baptized not but his disciples. He left Judah and departed again into Galilee, and uh, he must needs go through Samaria. Samaria, and you know Samaria was a part where they didn't, you know, the Samaritans would look down on because they was like outcasts, and so they they looked down and nobody was supposed to associate with them, talk with them. And there's people out there today that they tell you don't be messing with them, don't don't don't, don't get around them, yeah. You know? But if you can give them this word, if you can bring them a word from God, don't worry about what you can't. There's no such thing as can't in, in God. It says there's, there's all things are possible in Christ and, and all things are possible in, in God the Father. It says, 
uh, verse 3, And he left Judea and departed again unto Galilee, verse 3, and 4, he, and he must uh, needs go through Samaria. And verse 5 said, and he, and he cometh he to a city of Samaria, which is called Sichar, Sichar near to the parcel of the ground that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. And now Jacob's well was there. Jesus therefore being wearied with his journey sat thus on the well and it was about the sixth hour. There came the woman of Samaria to draw water. Here you go. Here, here, is, here comes somebody he don't need to be around. The world says. <laughs> Jesus said unto her, Give me to drink. For his disciples were gone away unto the city to buy meat. He was by himself, all by himself, and here comes this lady, and she, she's going to come to draw water for her family or for what, for her needs for the day. And so he's there, and, 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 and rendezvous there with her. And God will rendezvous with you today in your heart and your spirit and be with you if you call on him. And verse 9, it says, And then said the woman of Samaria unto him, How is it that thou, being a Jew, Asks me to drink. Which am I, a woman of Samaria? She she poses the question for for the Jews have no dealings with the Samaritans. Jesus answered and said unto her, If thou knowest the gift of God and who it is that saith to thee, Give me to drink, thou wouldst have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. The woman said unto him, Sir. Thou hast nothing to draw with. She's seeing he's standing there with empty hands. And but and the well is deep. From hence then hast, hast thou that live that living water. Art thou greater than our father Jacob, which gave us the well and drank thereof himself and his children and his cattle? Jesus answered and said unto her, Whosoever drinketh this water shall thirst again. But whosoever drinketh the water that I shall give him shall never thirst, but the water that I give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. And that's what it's about today, talking about everlasting life. Life beyond all this. What you see around you is only temporal and it's not going to last. You could, your, your fate could be handed to you today. And who would you be? What, where, where in the kingdom? Like last week, I preached on about what kingdom are you? Are you? Are you? Are you serving? Are you serving the kingdom of God? Are you serving in the kingdom of, the, the, uh, of Satan and his, and his his works in this world? You know, don't serve in his works. Serve the works and, and be be a work of God, a worker for God. It says the 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 fields are white, but the laborers are few. You can be one of those laborers today in, in Christ. And, and, and lead your family and your loved ones or be, uh, be uh, go and be in that eternal rest with your loved ones when you leave this world because we all going to leave this world we all are appointed one, once to die and then the judgment and so you you can call it you can you can call that that card today and find out where your judgment your, your, where you're going to spend eternity today and like I said that was in verse 14. Whosoever drinketh the water and what that I shall give him shall never thirst, but the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of living, a well of springing up into everlasting life. Verse 15, the woman saith unto him, Sir, give me this water. Is that what your plea is today? Lord, give me that water. That's what it should be. Call out to him. Call out him and to him and say, Lord, I want some of that water that woman had. I want some of that water. Tell him. Say, I want some of that water. I want that living water in me. I want that give that I want that thing to spring up and give it to others. Flow over this world. Maybe you'd be the one that reach a, a, a lost nation. You might be the one to reach that one that reaches a lost nation. Remember that, that how this thing how it works. You know, it's it's about you. Finding Christ first. It's about you. This can be about you today because it's a, it's about Him. You know, being in you, Him abiding in you, and you abiding in Him. You know, 
you know, uh, but, you know, in your singularity today, you need to find Christ. You need to find that, uh, find, find His salvation, His grace, His mercy. Find those things today through His Word, because it says His Word will be in you like living water. And that's what we want it to be, like in living water. And verse 16 says, Jesus said unto her, Go. And call her husband and come hither. And the woman answered and said, "I have no husband." And he said that he knew that she was she 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 had she had what she had and what she was, and, what, and he knows you today. And that and uh, and so we're going to finish right there on seventeen verses, uh, John, the uh, uh, fourth chapter of John, uh, one to four through seventeen, and we'll finish out with that right those. Those scriptures right there for that right there. And we'll uh, talk on that a little bit. And like I say, you know, it says right there, you know, she says, I, I have no husband. He knows you today. He knows your heart. He predestined you from the before the foundation of the world. He knows you. He knows what's, what, what you're made of. He knows what you are. He knows that he calls on you today. And he's calling you. If he's calling you, you'll know it in your heart. Your heart, if your heart feels feels like it, 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 it needs that, it needs something more than what this world is giving it. You know, it, there's a voidness in there that he's here to fill that void. He's here to give you the thing that, that you was predestined for. You know, if you say, well, you know, uh, I see all these other people, they get, they get religious and all this. This ain't about religion today, okay? I'm not, all, I, I'm not here to offer any kind of religion. I'm here to offer you a chance to get uh, have a, 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 a lasting and working relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ our, and our Heavenly Father and His Spirit today. That's what it's about. You having that, have, having Him in you, as a, so it can work and be and do the things that He's called us to do. He says He was here, but He He left that we could do the greater works in Him, through Him, by Him, in us, doing those greater works. And that's what it's about today. You doing those greater works and stuff, and, and 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 having a place in the kingdom with Him. He says He's going to prepare a place for us, and He He come back and gather some to Him, and we'll we'll be, we'll be with Him and stuff, and because we are seated in heavenly places with Christ today. Are you seated with Christ today in, in heavenly places? Are you, is He your Lord? Are you having trouble in your finances? Are you having trouble in your relationships? Are you having trouble in your in your in your in your businesses? If you're having these troubles, there's a th there's a reason for that. Because you're not of this world. We're not of this world. We're part of a, a kingdom to come and it's, and a will to be done. That's what this word says. His kingdom come. His will to be done. So you're part of that kingdom, as I preached on last week. And you go on YouTube and pull me up. And and and, and uh, I have a playlist on YouTube. At Measure Faith Worship Center, you can pull my playlist up, just put it in the search bar and pull it right up. And there's more messages on there about uh, on, on receiving Christ and, and, and walking in the things of God and walking uh, uh, worthy of the calling. We have to walk worthy of calling because He came and, 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 and the Father sent Him and said He was... In John 3.16, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever shall believe in him should not perish, but shall have everlasting life. That's what you want today. You want everlasting life. You might Your, your, your flesh might say, nah, I don't listen to all this. You can tell your spirit to hush. <laughs> tell your spirit to hush, your flesh to hush, and allow your spirit to receive these things today. And like I said, I also want to go over to John John 7 and 38. We'll close out with that little scripture right there. 7 and 38. A, 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 a truly great scripture. And it says, He that believeth on me, as the scripture have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. And that's what it's about today. If it's in you, you can't get that out of you, not unless you get it in you. Okay? It's not rocket science. The Bible is not a hard thing to understand. You, you can't you can't take a, just the book of uh, the, the uh, Genesis, the genealogy, and try to get 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 grace. You have to leave, get you a Bible, 
get you a Bible app if you don't have a Bible, and get to get into the to the Living Word and and allow the allow the Word to be used in you and, and brought forth into your heart. And it says, if you allow the Spirit draw it, it draw of you, He will draw unto you and He, he will he'll teach you all things. That's what Christ, when He left this world, He said He'd send. One that, that would not only baptize us in water, but also baptize us in the fire. And that fire is to change you, to, to transform you. When, it, when they, they uh, make a, a, a stuff, they refine it with fire. And that's what you, uh, uh, you need a, a refining in your life uh, so that you become that perfect diamond, that perfect gem, that perfect thing that God can use. And you know, uh, oh, I'm not perfect and no one's perfect. We're only perfect. Our perfection is in Christ. He abiding in us. That's our perfection. Because He will lead us, guide us, and teach us all things. And he said He will reveal all the mysteries of this of this gospel to you. If you have, if you are less, open up your spirit to Him. And so right now I want to uh, close this out with that word. That finish with that word right there. And I want to close this out with a prayer. And we're gonna pray this prayer out out. Just pray it out loud right there where you at. Make that an altar right there where you at. Call out unto him right now and say, Lord Jesus, I, I, I know you uh, uh, died on, on, on a cross thousands of years ago for my salvation. That I, that, and you were sent by the Father and, you, and through the love of the Father and through, the, through your love for the Father, you died on Calvary's cross as a slaughtered lamb for me. And that blood was shed for me and it cleanses me of all my sins. For I know and I claim and, 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 and confess right now I am a sinner. But I, I through your grace, through your mercy, through your blood, I'm cleansed and, 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 and come into my heart and be my Lord, be my Savior. If you can claim that right now and, and believe it in your heart and, and confess it with your mouth, he says he's a just God to forgive you of all your sins and change you. So you're a changed person, you're a new creature in Christ. Go and walk in Christ today. And, and, and do the works he, he's called you to do. You know, it's, we just, when you're a baby, you're a baby, you take little small baby steps, you goo goo and gaga -ga until you learn how to speak. <laughs> and you crawl before you walk. Okay, so get you a Bible, get in the Word, get, find you a nice church, find, or find other believers that believe the, uh, the, the, the four, read the four Gospels if you can. Start with one Gospel. There's Matthew, Mark, and Luke in the New Testament. We are the New Testament church. Get a New Testament Bible, any kind of Bible app. Go through and read and read from the first part to the last part of Matthew or Mark or Luke or John. And then read the book of Romans and find uh, and, and, and the book of Acts. And start just going through the Bible. You don't have to start in Revelation. You know, you don't have to worry about end times. You 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 you're, 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 you're walking in good times. You're walking in a, in, a, in a refreshing in your spirit, in your life, in your heart. So enjoy your walk with God, and and we we we, pray, we praise Him today for all things. You know, it's none of us. It's you know, I can't do these things for you. These things are done by His Spirit, the same Spirit that that rests in me, rests in you, as you are a, a, a brother and. and and sister and, and, and the Lord today by saying those, that prayer and mean it in your heart and confessing it with your mouth. He's a just God that, that He's forgave you of all your sins. Now go and send them more. He says, like He tells them with the, the other people in the Bible, when they come to Him and He and He and, 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 and uh, uh, touched them, He said, "Go and just send no more." You know, and and, and 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 build a relationship just like you have relationships in your. In your, in your your life, build a, a relationship with Him and His Holy Spirit. His Holy Spirit is here to work for you and to work in you. If you just call on Him and and, and, and ask Him to do it, you know it's, you don't have to beg. There's no begging into in, in this in, in, in this Christian walk with Christ. You know you don't have to you don't have to hum a hum. -a. <laughs> you don't have to get down on the ground and and and, 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 and roll and, and sackcloth and ash like they did in the, in the Old Testament. You could call him. He split that veil when he died on Calvary's cross. The veil was split, and now we have a, 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 a freedom to come straight to the throne of God by just speaking the word, speaking His word, believing it. Faith is all about believing. To receive. 
You got to believe to receive. You got to believe to give. You know, that giving comes from you, from you believing that he's a rewarder of those that diligently seek him with all their heart and in holiness. Holiness is, 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 a, is in reverence, in reverence to him and in reverence to his son being the one that gave his life as a slaughtered lamb on the cross and, and, and of Calvary. Those thousands of years ago, he was persecuted. He was bruised for our iniquities. You go in the book of Isaiah, talks about all these things, how he was bruised. And, you know, they prophesied these things for five or six hundred years before he even came to this earth. And he, he but he, he came, and, and, and we have all the promises that those, those the, 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 uh, people, the ancient people of the Bible had. We have those same promises, and you have those promises today. You just got to believe and walk in those promises today. Have a wonderful day in Christ. Have a wonderful day in Christ. Make this a, a true Sabbath and worship Him. You know, put all these other things away. Walk in, walk in with His Spirit. Talk to Him. It's, it's open communication. It's not. It's not like oh, you got to get in a corner somewhere. You got to. You got to uh, throw a blanket over you. No, you can openly come to Christ today and come to Him and know Him and, 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 and honor Him and, and give praise to Him today. He loves you and he, he, loves, he loves you even more now than ever before because you, you're, you're a child of the living God, a child of the King, and the King that's going to come and, and, and redeem us all and, and, and care us and have us to be with our loved ones and the Father in Heaven. And if you can believe all these things today, God is God. He says He's a just God to do do these things, and he, he'll he'll He's never made a promise that He won't fulfill. All the promises are, are yea and nay, and he's, he's He's given us these promises in the Bible. And you read this Bible and get this Bible in your heart and in and, and in your in your intellect and allow it to change you and make a make it because He says that, that this is when there seems to be no way, He'll make a way. If you're having trouble in your finances right now, we pray right now, Lord God. Bless them in their finances, Lord God. Bless them in their bodies right now, Lord God. Touch them in their bodies. Touch them in their finances, Lord God. Touch them in their businesses, Lord God. Allow them to be only increased, multiplied a hundredfold. You know, in Christ, all things are possible when we believe and trust Him. Like I said, thank you and God bless you. And thank you for being here at Measure Faith Worship Center today, this uh, July the 12th of 2020. Don't worry about pandemics. Don't worry about about, about coronavirus or or, 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 or protesting or, or, or statements that, you know, uh, against, the, against, uh, against the, the nation. Pray for this nation. Pray for our leaders. Pray for the, for, for the as we get ready to go into these this uh, 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 voting uh, uh, to this year, election this year. Pray for this leader and pray for him that he'll have a, he'll lead us in a godly and lead this nation by by godly by godly instruction by godly wisdom and and and, and, and don't don't murmur and carry on and, 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 and browbeat everything you know have a more positive attitude towards towards him and and, 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 and give uh, uh, and lift him up before God and and watch things change that's what's going to change things when we lift all these when we lift all these problems up to God it says come unto me all of those are heavy laden and I will give you rest and those are just words you know that out of this Bible that that means a lot that's promises but like I say thank you for being here at Measure Faith Worship Center God bless you and you have a wonderful day